the <laughs> that emote freaked out the the emote wizard piggy. Hello, Runic Raccoon. Let's finish a crab. Hi, Cranston. Hopefully my mic's working. I think it is. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make the emote wizard thing slightly smaller. Where? Oh no, I guess it's the full screen. How do I make it smaller this way? Oh gosh, it's so tall. All right, hold on. Oh, it has to be. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, it does have to be if I want it through the whole screen. Okay, let's see. I guess I could just make it this part of the screen. Yeah, we'll just make it this part of the screen. Okay. Can one of you do me a favor and type exclamation point follow age and see if it works? I don't think it works for me because it's not going to look up my own follow age for myself, I don't think. But I'm trying to see if the command that I w created works. Is it follower age? No, it's just broken. Okay, it doesn't work. Hmm. I feel like Streamlabs chatbot, like people don't use it very much. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Actually, here, I'll do this. I'll delete the one that I already made. Follow age. Delete. Move. And I'll try adding it again. Because I added some of the commands back, but it's very minimal. I don't know if that's gonna work. It's it's in there again, so if someone wants to try it again. It looks like the link is broken though. Yeah, it doesn't work. My channel and follower. I wonder if there's a different follow age command somewhere because i used to have one yeah that one's gone uh clavicus my husband also just got laid off from his job today so even if there was uh an address it would no longer be the address that it used to be <laughs> move okay i removed follow age because it doesn't work and i don't know how to make it work so whatever I'll figure it out later. There's probably something in actual like Streamlabs that needs to be edited. But yeah, that was fun news. That was fun news today. Sitting there working and and James comes upstairs because he was working from home today. And he was like, guess who just got laid off? And I was like, oh, <laughs> cool. Cuckoo, cuckoo. The company he was at has been like, in the red for such a long time. So I'm not surprised, but it is kind of sucky. He did not get severance. He got no severance. At least not that I know of. I don't think so, though.
peace efforts. In this economy, no, I don't think he did. Oh, of course I painted some of this crab's claw with this gray paint. Not this time, but the last time I was painting it. Um, he doesn't need insurance coverage because he's already on my insurance, so. I, I think I'm, I have way better insurance than his company offered anyway. So I had already added him to mine. So that part, you know, is, is good at least. We're already covered in that category. Blech. And thankfully, you know, it's, it's not going to affect us a ton. We had to go through and I had to put all the bills under my name and, you know, he had to go through and cancel all of his subscriptions to all the things that he subscribed to and all that stuff. But I think we should be fine. And yes, 100% I am his sugar mama. Without a doubt. <laughs> I don't think we have a, a plan of action for what comes next yet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Debbie Cat, thank you so much for the raid. That is so many people you just sent in here. Holy moly. Reese without their spoon. That's that's an amazing. <laughs> that is an amazing name. <laughs> raid. Light up your life. What a cute raid message. Thank you so much for all the new followers. I can't see them. Why are they not showing on my thingamajigger here? Yatsu illustrations and hallway raptor. Oh goodness. Thank you for the follows. I'm still first. <laughs> apply for unemployment, unemployment immediately because the claim date begins the day you apply. Oh, I'll tell him to do that. Yeah, he definitely, because he got laid off and it wasn't like, a, he didn't get fired for performance or whatever, he can claim unemployment. So I'm sure he will do that. But thank you, Debbie Cat, for the raid. If you have anything that you want to, uh, if you want to share a links or whatever, feel free. Devi Cat. He needs to pick up a paintbrush. <laughs> I wish that he liked painting. He's painted like two or three things total. But yeah, I will um I will remind him to do the unemployment stuff since he I mean it just happened like a couple hours ago but yeah I'll make sure he gets it done he's been streaming all all day since basically <laughs> speaking of painting guess what I've been doing Pat are you painting do you want to share something Debbie, you are, you're, you draw, right? That's the, the artistic medium that you tend toward, I believe. If I'm recalling correctly, that's who you are.
Aw, oh, thank you, Chi. Yeah, I am. Um, everything in my life is like this color. My hair used to be, but it's grown out so much, and I and I stopped dyeing it. Um, I might eventually dye it all again, but usually my hair would be this color as well. <laughs> I'm doing today's digitally painting my OC in her anime form with a bunch of treats and turning her props into their own furnished pieces. Oh, how cute! Yeah, that's right. You are an, you are a, a drawing artiste. Digital illustration, so cute. That is adorable. I probably have said this before, but there's two things that are like absolute wizardry to me. And those are people that can draw, like, from scratch. And then people that can write code and, like, build things from code. Those two people that have those skills, I'm just like, it blows my mind. Because you're actual, like, literal wizards. My username is my favorite color. That is a very pretty blue. I think that's the right color. Sometimes it shows up on my, on my OBS a different color than what's actually you know it shows to you but yeah i would love to learn how to draw and i would also love how to learn how to write code but i have so many hobbies as it is that i think if i were to try to take on another thing i would not be able to i, I would go crazy pat drowls let's see what you're doing pat oh yeah that's right that's right you showed me the last time the progress is looking great it looks like it's pretty much done. You just have to paint the, like, walkie-talkie and the, like, all the little pouches and stuff. Drawing is easy, it's practicing and improving, that's hard. That's true. <laughs> Anyone can draw. It takes practice and, and uh, skill to draw well. <laughs> it's about 90%. Yeah. That's great. I'm glad you're drawing again, Pat. Or drawing. Painting. Talking about drawing so much, that's where my brain is. I have been doing, this week, I've been, um, crocheting. Because somebody, I think it was Dr. Bob, said that they wanted a monster plush. So I've been thinking about how to actually do that. Yes, my husband uh, does stream. His stream is Brigby. He he only streams video games though, so I don't like usually shout him out. But um, I can I can try to do that. Shout out Brigby. That's his. Brigby is his stream. He's a lot louder, uh, a lot more vulgar, and um, a lot prettier than I am. So, just keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, and he only plays video games. He doesn't do art or anything like that, so. Yeah, he's a lot prettier. Just ask him to take his hair down and you'll see why. He's a lot prettier than me. His hair is like, he's got beautiful, beautiful hair. He streams in laundry. No, he doesn't stream in laundry. Although I bet you, you could convince him to do that. <laughs> Sounds like me versus Debbie. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, G. Hi, Shiny Mew. So while this is drying, because I, ha I have to wait until this dries to like actually dry brush it, but I'll show you guys what I was doing this week, what else I was doing. Um, so... I know I had showed you guys the, um, this isn't the right one. Where's the right one? This one. I know I had showed, uh, the potion bottle that I was thinking about doing. And then I got the vials and it's significantly bigger. Um, and it's not perfect. Like there's a thing here. Um, but I was able to make it so that it has the removable top and you can unscrew it and fit an entire set of dice in here. I only have a D4 near me for some reason. But um, you can fit an entire set of dice in here. 
So I was able to figure out how to do it, um, which is cool because if I want to sell these, I can. I can make them and sell them, and they're you know they're pretty they're pretty good quality. They're big, squishy, squishy potion bottles. Um, so yeah, I would suggest not taking the vial out like all the way, but yeah, it's a little, it's a health potion. Um, I was thinking of you know making these and selling them and including like enough D four to. I don't have. Do I? Did I? actually write down the pattern so this i actually edited a pattern but i can send you the pattern that i took this one from not actually this one this one <laughs> i had to make a couple of edits to get it to what i wanted to do but yeah i'll send you it um this one obviously is significantly larger because the tube is like the whole length of it here um, and I had to make it not connect here and all the, yeah. Um, but I got this to work. So I was happy about that. So if I wanted to, you know, make other kinds, all I need to really change is the color of the potion here. Um, I also did some trial on my monster plush. So this was the first one, um, that I did and she's got like the little smile and the little tooth and the eyes and everything. And then I was trying to, um, you know, sketch out where I wanted the hair. And then I did this one today. Um, ooh, I got something on it. It's dirty. Um, but I was like, okay, so the hair here, and then I just need to add the mouth and the horns. And then I need to extend the hair and make some like, like actual hair obviously, since I don't want it to just be white. But yeah, so we're getting there with this one as well. Um, pretty good progress from what I was initially thinking. I tried so many things with the hair. Um, I think I showed the picture in my sub chat on my Discord, but the... <laughs> This was this was obviously not going to work, but I thought it looked really funny. <laughs> I used fur, fur yarn. <laughs> Um, so that's fun. <laughs> She's like, like monster's grandma. <laughs> um, yeah, let me get you that pattern right now, actually, because I'm pretty sure crochet pattern. Yeah, it's literally like if you search crochet bottle, cro um, crochet potion bottle pattern, it's the first one that shows up. So there's the link. Um, she uses regular yarn. I used the plush yarn, obviously. So they're going to be way smaller if you use size four, like worsted weight yarn. Um, but yeah, so there it is. But I did not get the other yarn um, that I ordered so that I could make the other things. I have like fuzz everywhere now. Um, it's probably gonna be here sometime over the weekend so I can start playing around with, uh, and start playing around with trying to make the griffin and the, um, the, the griffin and the phoenix once I get those other colors in. Oh uh, yeah. I was actually thinking because um, I have this shirt on today. Uh, my camera's all weird, but I have this shirt on today. I was like, I can absolutely make a, um, what are these called? Myconid. Um, and then I was like, the flump is so cute. Like, I wonder how hard it would be to crochet a flump. It probably wouldn't be hard. Um, same thing like with a beholder. It probably wouldn't be terribly hard. So I'm thinking of maybe trying to make my own patterns um, from those, of those things. Because I do want to have like a D&D &D creatures um, because of the goblins. They're behind me. The goblins that I've been making. Here they are. Little goblins. 
And there's crochet things everywhere. <laughs> you need every pattern. <laughs> I'll send you the link for those patterns. Hold on. Um, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. Here's the pattern set for, oh wait. Here's the pattern set for the one that has the goblin in it. I bought all of the patterns, um, but you can get like, they're in three packs of, of random other ones. So if you just go to that person's page, you can see all the different three packs if you don't want to buy like the whole thing. I won't, be <laughs> I will be at ReaperCon during PAX West because it's literally the same days. So I will not be at PAX West. <laughs> We've been having this, this, uh, this conversation every stream. And I'm just, cause every, like once every stream, someone comes in and is like, are you going to be at PAX West? Cause like I live in Seattle and I will not be here. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm sorry. It's the same. It's the exact same days. And it has been so literally ever since I've lived in Seattle, I have not been able to go to PAX West because I've been going to ReaperCon. <laughs> I drop in the stream and the first thing I hear is ReaperCon. Me too. Woo woo. Michael paints minis. Hello. Yes, I will be there. I think this will be my s sixth year, fifth year, sixth year. I'm not sure. Michael Paints Minis, thank you for the follow. Yeah. You will, if you've never been, which you probably have, but if you've never been, it is very fun. I'm only taking, I think, four classes this year, down from 12 that I took the first year. Every year, it's like I take slightly less and less classes. <laughs> which everyone always tells me I'm crazy for taking as many classes as I take, but... I love the classes. The classes are so much fun. I love learning new things from really smart people. And I feel like in-person classes for me are so much better than online ones. I started with the first one, then took a hiatus from 2014 to 2021 and started back in Oh, okay. So you're like an old school. You're you're old school cool. That's awesome. You're an OG teacher. Oh. What I have I taken one of your classes? <laughs> what classes do you normally teach? Man, dry brushing these rocks is gonna be rough. Cause it is in such a weird position. I wish I could take the crab off of the base, but I don't think, yeah, I mean, it's, it's in there. I'm not gonna be taking it off. Oh, this might actually be okay. I just do need to still wait for it to dry. Because if I don't, it's not going to be fun times. I'll just try to do the spots that I can tell are 100% dry. I keep getting ideas for emotes, but I, I don't have the energy. <laughs> I was actually just talking about that because um, when I started streaming you could only have like f 10 or 15 emotes or something. And now you can have like 110. And I'm just like, I can't draw. Um, so I have to, you know, get an artist to make my emotes for me. And that's expensive. That gets pricey really fast. Um, so I do have 10 new emotes pending. <laughs> but my artist actually just had a baby. So he and his wife are very busy 
Uh, so I don't know exactly when I'm going to get my, my emotes. Non-metallic metal, weathering, rendering, texturing. This year I'm adding a free seminar on critiques. That's hodgepodge of how to ask for the advice you need, receiving critique at the same time, and how you look at your, aka how to give a critique. Okay, I saw that class. I saw that class. I feel like that'd be a good class just for people in general that are like too shy to give feedback. <laughs> or like, you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't care if it's not all the way dry everywhere. That's fine. And I love the people at ReaperCon, but there's definitely a lot of very shy, timid folks there. So that definitely sounds like a good class just for general, general knowledge and not even just specific to painting. I love dry brushing so much. Light up your life. <laughs> Alfrost, thank you. That's such a cute like raid message. Thank you. This is from a Kickstarter that I had backed a long time ago. I messed up the claw right there. That's okay. I'm just gonna throw some sand on it or something. Um, because Kickstarter was called Primal the Awakening. <laughs> Um, there's actually a lot of really cool minis in this Kickstarter. Um, so I'm glad that I backed it. This was like, I backed it like three years ago or longer. I don't even remember, but I got it this year at some point. I, uh, I used to stream pretty consistently, but this is like the first month that I've been consistently back streaming. So I kind of wasn't painting during that time either. But I'm hoping to be back. I'm hoping to get some, get at least one thing to submit for ReaperCon. <laughs> Do you sit your stuff in front of a fan? Um, sometimes I'll use a blow dryer. Like I have a blow dryer right here next to me. If I want something to dry really fast, I will throw the blow dryer on it and just get it dry quickly. But, um, when I'm painting stuff like, like the actual miniature itself, I don't really want it to dry terribly quickly. Um, I have a piece of hair in my mouth. Um, yeah, I don't want it to die, dry terribly quickly. Um, sometimes I want it to dry fast, but most of the time I, I want it to be kind of slower to dry. Did I see your Gen Con entry? Was that the one with the, the boobies? I don't even know how, I don't even remember anything except for the first photo on there had uh, the the boobies covered. No boobies on that one? Okay, then I don't think I did. I used to do a lot of variety game streaming on another channel, but just decided to bite the bullet and reband for painting. Oh yeah. Yes, I like the blending. <laughs> I just joined for the booby stock. <laughs> I'll pull it up when you, uh, when you message it. I'm so sad. I'm assuming, Runic, because you mentioned PAX, that you're going to be here for PAX as well. It makes me so sad that like so many of my friends are gonna be up here and this is like the only time they're up here and I won't be here. I'm gonna get some green. I wanna put some green on there. Is that for D&D? &D? Um, it could be. It 
it isn't for me um my my um what's it called when i initially started painting miniatures they were for dnd they were for my dnd group my in-person dnd group um and then i moved very far away from that group and we no longer had in-person sessions but i still um really really enjoy painting or i still really enjoyed painting so i continued painting and now i just when i see something that i think looks really cool i'll just paint that or if i want to do like a competition piece all right so there's the competition piece that is actually amazing i can't i can't switch it Did you paint the background as well? Did you paint this? I've never done any 2D work before. That is so good. That looks freaking amazing. That is amazing. Like, holy cow. You are such a good painter. Hold on, I'm gonna stop it. I'm going to open it up here so I can make it even bigger. Look at that. Wow. So good. And of you did red and yellow. <laughs> the, two, the two hardest colors to freaking paint. <laughs> At least for me. Red and yellow for me. I hate painting red and yellow. Yeah, that is absolutely amazing. A plus. I did yellow is rough. <laughs> yeah, yellow is like terrible. I hate yellow. I hate painting yellow. All right, we're putting a little green on this dry brush. Give it a little bit more color. So executing them well is a good thing yeah yeah exactly yeah they are hard colors so when you paint them well i think it's i'm taking a um like painting black and white class at ReaperCon. all right okay i think that looks good now we're going to paint the water. The back of the cloak is really green that you can't really see in the pictures. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was actually two, um, two painting black and white classes this year for ReaperCon. Um, I think I got the one... I actually don't remember who the instructor is. I think it's Diamond Stone. I don't remember now though. I think one of the good things that I noticed was that the classes didn't all like immediately sell out this year, which is good. Cause I know like in past years, even if you bought like the VIP ticket, you would almost not get classes. Um, but it seems like there's either a lot more classes this year, there's a lot less people this year, or people just aren't taking as many classes. I don't know. I do use flocking. Yes, I'm actually, I'm going to use um, some, some sand uh, and some water stuff, water texture stuff that I've never actually used before. So hopefully it doesn't ruin the miniature. <laughs> I ended up in Diamond Stones, Diamond Stones at OSL because I know he's good at that. But I did Bob and Julie's class. Yeah. I teach two and take two. On Thursday, I'm terrified. Oh, no. You'll be okay. You got this. Just make sure you have access to some caffeine. Yeah, the first year that I went to ReaperCon, I literally took like... <laughs> I took so many classes. Um, 
I took like four classes a day for the three days. I was in classes literally the entire day, minus like the hour for lunch. Caffeine and adrenaline, yes. People thought I was crazy. But that was the first year. I didn't know anyone. Like, I wasn't a streamer yet. I started streaming, like, the next year, not that year, not the very first year. So I was there, like, by myself. Um, and people were nice, but it was still kind of awkward to just be like, hey, people I don't know, want to hang out? <laughs> I've taken freehanding intro to fur. They be expensive, yeah. Was your brain mush at the end of it all? And did you take an intermediate and an MMM, MMM, oh my God, NMM. And I was like, I'll just teach. So now I teach. <laughs> um, I did not take intermediate non-metallic metal last year. Um, I took a non-metallic metal class like a couple of years ago, but I've never taken like the intermediate version. I keep dropping water on myself and it's really cold. Um, that is something that I probably should take because I suck at non-metallic metal. I don't suck. I don't do it enough to um, say that I'm good at it, really. Um, but yeah, you know what? I just noticed that... You know what? We're just going to leave it. I was going to say, like, these guys, they didn't get covered very well, these thingies. But that's okay. We're just going to leave them. Let me teach. <laughs> I elect myself as the trainer. I mean, you can. I've only done non-metallic metal, like, maybe, like, three or four times total. Um, I think I get the basic, the basics of it, right? Um, I just, I'm, I feel like I'm so impatient when it comes to layering. <laughs> it's like a big, it's bad. I'm very, very impatient when it comes to layering. So. My Vortex mixer is also right next to my microphone now. So if you're hearing weird sounds, that's what you're hearing. Placement is more important than blends. Oh, that's true. I just see like, um, shoot, I forget the names of people. I'm so, I'm so ridiculously bad with names. It's, it's terrible. Um, but there's like some people that I follow on Instagram when I see their non-metallic metal stuff, I'm like, I don't believe you that that's not actually just a metal, metal, like miniature. Like you're, you're, it's, that's too much, you know? All right, we're gonna see how this turns out. This might be terrible, but we're gonna just, we're gonna just go for it. A lot of this is gonna have sand on it, so I don't need to do a lot on the actual, like, crevice between the rock and the water. Is your Vortex Mixer the heavy metal red one? No, it's not. It's, um, it's this one. It's a mini Vortexer. So, it's, it's actually pretty compact. Hey, Val! <laughs> 
Yeah, that's the one. Um, I think Graz was giving his away, and Runic snatched it up from Graz. I think, or someone. I don't remember who was giving it away. I feel like it was Graz, though, because he always is like, I have 500 million things uh, to give away every year. Like last year, he gave away like an entire container of of random paint. And I was like, dude, slow down. It's okay though, I get it. I bought the last one that guy had at ReaperCon a few years ago. Yeah, he had like a ton of paint that he was just like, hey, this is free, take it. Please take it. We're going to summon him here if we keep talking about him. <laughs> Has anybody ever used this stuff before? Water texture? I think it's like a milky white and then it dries clear. But I've never actually used it, so I'm not sure. it's good. I prefer gel medium. Okay, I have that too. When I was looking at them, I was like, are these the same? Like, I don't know. It dries clear up to a certain thickness. I've never used it, but I watched a diorama makers and it looks amazing. I remember Ron dumped all the class paints that year into a table outside the room and it was like a flock of gackles attacking an overturned dumpster behind Whataburger. <laughs> Kaka! Free paint! Yeah, that sounds about right. I have so much paint now, I don't really need to do that anymore. Um, for those of you that aren't aware that that's my paint wall and then I have another wall right there. I have a lot of paint and that's not all my paint. That's just most of it. Um, so yeah, I don't need, I don't, I don't go crazy for paint anymore. Not like I used to. Hi, Mr. E. All right, well, that doesn't look the best ever, but it's also going to get covered, so it's probably fine. I have a little shelf in drawers. That's about it. I'm going to use it until it's gone. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I definitely, like, don't need any more paint for the rest of my life. I'm fairly certain. There's some colors that, like, I really like that I'll probably get more of, but... I was like, didn't the whole wall used to be paint? I mean, technically, um, it's still the same. I just put a thing between the two uh, racks of paint that are up there. No one has too much paint. People have the paint they have now. That does not preclude the need for more paint, just the paint you don't have yet. <laughs> Let me clarify. I probably won't get any more paint. Just because I have so much paint already and for whatever reason, I only like to stick to a few colors. A few of the same colors. I use the same colors over and over again, it seems like. All right, we're going 
to. Mix up some glue and add some sand details. And then we'll add the water and then Mr. Krabs will finally be done. It will only have taken four streams. Oh, this is really weirdly separated. I didn't think that glue could separate. Yeah, I definitely didn't think that glue could separate, but it, it has. <laughs> I have about six to eight hundred paints, so I definitely don't need more, but I still get more. Yeah, I probably have like five hundred. I think the last time I counted, I had like 400 and something. So I definitely have like 500 and something now, more than likely. I need to get like Elmer's glue. I don't know what, I know I had some, I don't know where it is, but I've been using wood glue. I know it's just thicker glue. It still does you know, just fine, but, you know, this is what I had, but it is, is thick, glue isn't supposed to separate, it's supposed to hold things together, well, yeah, I know that, you tell that to the glue, it's not doing its job, I do have a paint tracking database, and at some point, I stopped tracking. So, <laughs> I do, I do have paint rack. But it's hard when you uh, get lazy and you don't add all the new paints that you've added to your collection, and then you put said paints on the rack up there without adding them. That's what I did. I still have functional 90s GW paints. <laughs> so an untracked paint tracking database, pretty much. <laughs> All right. I feel like this is the wrong brush to do this with. Let's see. This is a very thick brush, and I don't really want that little amount of control. So we're gonna just get the paint off of this old brush, and we're gonna find a different brush to use. Let's see. What do we got in here in our drawer full of brushes? My mom got me like a pack or like a, a six pack of these brushes like a couple of years ago for Christmas and I'm still using them. I love having lots of like cheaper brushes on hand to do stuff like this because you would not want to usually use glue on a brush that is worth a lot. That's why you get cheap brushes to do things like this. The next time you go through and do... Val, I never do that. <laughs> I never go through and, and shake up all my paints. I only shake them as I'm going to use them. Which, I don't know, maybe that's a problem. But it hasn't been a problem so far.
Uh, oh, I dripped that on my desk. That's okay. There is these lines on this base, and I don't know why. So we're just going to cover them in sand as well. Okay. Drawer of brushes. Give us the brush that Holly will glue. Yes. Exactly. All right. I'm going to put a paper towel under this. Get out my sand and start putting it down. Oh, I already see that I've missed some spots. Sand, sand, everywhere. Okay. Okay. We've got the initial sand. Okay. Try to get some of the sand back in there. Cool. I did it. This is literally just a thing of finely ground sand. If you have an Android phone, brush rage app will scan your paint barcode. Yeah, paint rack does that too. Sand, sand everywhere, on the base, on the table, in your underwear. You crazy. No sand in your underwear. I do need to add more. I'm gonna add some like... You know, just in like random places where sand might accumulate. more places like this that for some reason didn't get covered super well I might have watered down the glue a little bit too much It gets everywhere. It does get everywhere. Trust me, I grew up in Southern California. I was at the beach a lot when I was little. I remember.
I'm just adding more in spots that I went up onto the rocks with the paint. I keep trying to stick the paintbrush with the glue into the Okay, that's good. Out oh, Frost, thank you for the follow. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. <laughs> I understood that reference. is that that's paint that is dry paint where did you come from ah! sorry that is the alarm to feed my dogs even though i already fed my dogs i have it so that i don't forget which i never do but you never know and get back in there all right i am gonna mute really quickly so that i can blow dry the glue to try to make it so that i can put the this stuff on there they wouldn't let me forget that's true they would not let me forget you are correct all right let me mute my mic Speaking of the dogs, I am actually going to make them come in here so that I can watch Appa because he's been trying to eat himself. He's been chewing on his, his limbs. He's an itchy boy. Not the dogs won't lie about being fed. My wife is able to convince not just me, but my dog is able to convince not just me, but my wife, at least one of my daughters, that she hasn't been fed all day. <laughs> all right, give me one second. Oh, look, you can see my really cute BRB screen. Okay. What cable is in the way here? Get out of here, you cable. I'm locking you in with me. You're trapped. You're trapped forever. Oh, oh, just ran into her. There they are. There's the cute babies. You sit. Okay, go up. Spin. Spin. So lazy. Speak. Good girl. Papa, speak. Again. Good boy. There's the babies. 
I've trapped them. They're trapped with me now. She is <laughs> incidentally getting sort of chonky, and that happens. Load the loafs. <laughs> I watch for dog cam. Hi, Kane. <laughs> There's the dog cam. There you go. That's, that's the girl. The boy's right here under my feet. He, he likes to sit under my chair. But our crab is almost done. This base is nice and warm now. <laughs> that I, bl I blue dry blow dried it. Bl blue dried it? Oh, it actually... It's actually pretty much dry already. That's great. Alright, let's try this stuff. I don't know. I honestly don't know how to use this. Still got the seal on it. The protective seal, because I've never used it before. stuck there's a whole bunch of it on here okay now oh, it's all over me missed opportunity with the title what it, <laughs> oh i need to add donations i'm not gonna do that <laughs> Where did that brush that I was going to use? There it is. Using, though. God, my brain is like backwards stuff. Hello, Agu. James should take donations on his side if he wants donations. It's okay. Him getting laid off sucks, but we'll be fine. Like, we'll be okay. I've been basically telling him he should quit his job for months. For not, I, not even, for years. I was like, dude, just quit your job. He hated it so much anyway. Getting laid off is not that big of a deal. Looks like cold cream. It kind of does, huh? I think I have to do it pretty thin to make it glossy. I don't know. We're just going to dab it on and hope that works. I've never used this stuff before. Um... I have no idea how it works. So we're just gonna dab, dab, dab. And uh, hope that it looks cool. Hope that I don't destroy this base with this random stuff that I've never used. I'm sure it'll be fine. Read the instructions. When used in combination with still water and applies the final layer, adds volume. That's transparent water dries to a transparent and glossy finish in 24 hours. There's not really any instructions. Yes, I do live up to the motto, I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like that's why that shirt at ReaperCon that one year did so well. Because it's like, so many people feel that same way. So many people feel like they have no idea what they're doing. And if Monster, if Monster can, you know, make people feel more comfortable in admitting that, then I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah, it literally is um, the monster painting face, which I don't think I have anything of, of that right here. But it was her painting a miniature with her tongue sticking out, uh, and it said, I have no idea what I'm doing. It was very good, because I, I feel that way. We feel a solidarity with the spirit. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I never went to see if Southpaw Craft still has that shirt on their website. I don't know if they still sell it. Thank you. 
If this doesn't work, I'm just going to put a bunch of gloss varnish on the on the blue paint. But I think it'll work. We'll just leave it. We'll just leave it like that and uh, let it dry. And then I will post a picture of it once it's dry. I got that shirt I really wanted. The apron though, oh really? I remember they had a bunch of that stuff last year at ReaperCon that was in the like, the, the budget bins. No, I don't think it's selfpaw.com, let me look. I doubt they would have gotten that, that URL. Let me see if I can find it. Um. No, I don't think they have it anymore. Searching. Uh. There's so many, there's so many, um, see, and I lost the direct link to it when all of my commands fell through, which is unfortunate, but I doubt they have it anymore, at least maybe not on their, like, website, website. They do have a Dungeons and Doggo shirt, though. I probably should be showing you what I'm looking at. But I don't see it. They have a bunch of the... Yeah, it's not here. It's not here, unfortunately. It's southpawcrafts.com. Uh, Southpawcrafts. But they don't have it anymore, which is not surprising because last year I don't think any of them sold because it was the same shirt as the last three years or whatever. <laughs> oh, big baby. Appa just moaned and groaned. Alright, well that's on there now. It's probably going to take a while to dry because it's pretty thick. But, uh, yeah. We did it! We did it, folks! We painted something from start to finish. Now I need to go back to painting the other thing I was painting before. <laughs> and I need to find something new to paint. Gotta go, my desktop is lagging. It's old. No worries, Chi. Thank you for hanging out. Wait, that's a thing? Start to finish? I know, right? Yeah, see, the thing with me is, like, sometimes I'll get a part of the way into painting something. And then I'll be like, I don't want to paint this anymore. And then I'll stop. So this was what I was painting for ReaperCon. And I got bored of painting it, and I stopped. And then I started painting the crab. Because it's a cool mini, and I wanted to paint something different. So... I don't actually know if I'm going to finish painting this. I actually don't know what I want to paint next. What do y'all think? What should I paint next? I also had to cut this dude's fingers because one of his fingers um, was way longer than all of the others. <laughs> I can use the water effect on that one, true. It's got the water on the thing there. I just don't even know if I'm going to finish it because... I don't know. I, I'm not liking the way that it's coming out very much. So it's going to just go back in this drawer right here. <laughs> they're good puppies for sure. They're, they're very good babies. Ow.
What is that? Oh, it's so cute. I should paint a dragon. Paint a dragon? I have so many of the dragons. You can have some of my minis. <laughs> Trust me, I have way more minis than I will ever be able to paint. How many of them are painted? Uh, that'd be a grand total of zero of them are painted. All of my dragons are like up in a container uh, up there. Well, not all of them, but some of them. The Reaper... The Bones 5 ones are. I have so many, so many minis. Ooh. Holy moly, what else is in here? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what else is in here. Look at this. I think this is all the random dragons and stuff. Let's see. Extra dragons. <laughs> Kaiju. Oh, I can paint uh, I can paint Godzilla. What's this one? Yog Sloth off. That's not a dragon. Big box of shame. This is a bust. Oh my god. Oh no. I guess I didn't put these ones together. What's this? Elemental Scions. Oh, here's the one. The one that's in uh, clear black. Kratrix Shadow Dragon. I do like dragons. What is this guy? A war mammoth. I could paint a war mammoth. This thing is in so many pieces. Holy moly. Oh, this is the spider. That is not a dragon. Okay, here we go. I don't know how to say that. Adrali, Adre, Adratus, Ildratus, Ildratus. Yes, I do. I probably do have the cat folk bag. Oh my god, this is so heavy. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, that's not the only box of shame. You see behind me? Oh, wait, no, you can't. Hold on. Many boxes. Many boxes. This one? Here you go. That's all bones. That's bones five. That's all bones five right there. This one is all Bones 4. These are all Bones 4. <laughs> I have so many minis. I think that's why I get overwhelmed. Holy cat. <laughs> Alright, let's put this guy aside for the moment. Put all these paints away. Let's take out the pieces of this. My box of shame is mostly failed prints. I love going through boxes of shame. It's like going shopping, not having to pay for anything because I already did. <laughs> All right. Why are you looking at me, bud? Are you trying to figure out what's going on? All right, so this one looks like it's some sort of 
shadow or or like zombie dragon? Is this supposed to be, or is it just in a bad shape? Spiky bro dragon. All right, I need to do some uh, cutting of this guy. It's a white dragon. It's an ice dragon. Ooh. It's got... It needs to be trimmed. Got a lot of... I, I don't think this is considered flash technically, but it looks kind of like flash. I painted one in about six hours. Oh, this is gonna take me five years to paint. Unless I do it messy. I am by no means a speed painter. That's the only thing is when I start painting something large, it takes me Forever. Appa's trying to leave, and I'm not going to let him. Because I need to watch him. Mine's a little bit messy. It's got a fairly bluish tint to it. I mean, an ice dragon, that makes sense. I'll have to look. If you have a photo of yours, feel free to link it in the chat. In the chat. I also have a Discord if you don't want to just link it in a public place if you'd rather join the discord i think i added the command discord exclamation point discord back although i know that people are in like 500 billion discords so yeah that's fine instagram's fine i wish i could find someone locally to strip down some of the toy cars or have so i can prime them i know that people will strip minis with um green stuff or not green stuff, um, simply green. Green stuff is not something that you would strip with. <laughs> that would not work. That's if you want to build on top of your mini, or if you want to sculpt something yourself. But I've known people that have used simply green for that. Okay. Smells like summer amusement parks. Ugh. Yeah. Definitely. This is the part that I am not the biggest fan of, is cleaning the mini up to prepare it to be painted. That's okay. This one isn't that bad. Hopefully it fits together well. I didn't even try that. If it dissolves paint, just think of what it can do to your flesh. <laughs> Very true. Or stop looking. This is why I keep them in here with me. Kind of fuzzy pieces. Or kind of fuzzy pixies. Ooh! I wish I could full screen Instagram. That's pretty though. Look at that. I guess I can do that. Oh my gosh, no. 
That's cool. I like that. Very, very cool. It's hard to take really good pictures of miniatures, especially bigger miniatures. I feel like that was one class that I considered taking as well, was like a how to photograph your miniatures class. Because I always just do it right here on my desk. When I'm done, I'll just... MG is a good photographer as well. So this class I'll try to squeeze into. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Let's see. Let's see if these, uh, these pieces are all going to fit together well. Wait. jaw was upside down. I was like, why is it not fitting together? There we go. I was like, why can't I get this together? Okay, that looks all right. Okay, okay, okay. That feet, that my, my words my words are not wording today. My brains are broken. This one is empty. Can I get one that's not empty? Yeah, no words. My words are broke. Oh, there we go. Yep, that one definitely have some glue in it. Okay. Oh, that piece fits well. Dang. These are going much better than I thought they would. that fit it's perfect doesn't really get much better than that but why is the glue gone All right oh my goodness I feel like I'm I've hit the jackpot with pieces fitting together this never happens That one I put a little too much glue. I'll just take this brush and do that. Where's my exacto knife? The only thing I felt like I needed was to work on was the tail to make sure the seam was small. Yeah. There's a little bit of flash stuff right here, but that's fine. Oh, I see. I think I see what you mean. It is a little bit like weird right there
but I'm just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna fix it because I don't want to. Oh, I just noticed across this wing there's like a line. There, you can kind of see it right here and then right there, but that's okay. Oh, this one has it too. It's wherever it was sat in the mold. I do what I want. It's true. I use the wing patterns to hide it. Yeah. Hey, Russian blue. Um. Let's see. Oh, his feet are a little bit off. But I think I can bend them in, which is good. Okay, let me take it back off. Okay, let's do that again. Do the front two. Oh, oh, I just made his face fall off. Not the face! Oh god, where did it go? I also didn't put any glue in that piece. It's probably why. Part, part of why. The only thing about the gel is it takes a little bit longer to dry, so it doesn't like immediately bond everything completely together. You kind of have to be careful with it. Got to make sure, got to make it hard to paint the belly. Yeah, I don't need to paint the belly, that's fine. You're hardly going to see that part anyway. I just have to be careful. I will probably have to leave it alone. I know some of them I've had to like hold it down to like make sure the gaps aren't there but this one seems like I don't really need to do that which is nice all right let's put the exacto knife away before I accidentally hurt myself with it put the glue away this one I'm gonna have to pop out pop this thing out so that I can get the rest of the glue Don't prime this one black if you're doing a white color scheme. You know, I hadn't actually decided if I want to do this guy white or, or something else. I guess I should think about that, huh? Before I start priming it black. Because Dr. Bob, you know me very well. I was just going to literally start throwing black paint all over this baby. Oh no, stay on. Let me look. I know it goes against your principles. <laughs> what is this guy's name? I'm gonna look and see if I can find anybody else that's painted it to see if there are other paint ups that I like. Is this an I? Are these, is this an I and then an L? Ildratus. Let's see. All right, y'all can take a look with me here.
Oh, wow. Wow. It seems like most people go with the ice, ice version. Oh, that was cool. I like the pink. I'm not a big fan of, of the, those colors together. So pink, I'm not a big fan of and yellow. I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> so. <laughs> Ooh, that one's like a purpley tone. Purple toned. That might be cool. What the heck? That's a that's not the same thing. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, I like that one too. I kind of like the purple to white. Although I feel like, ow, that, it looks hard. <laughs> but I do like the way it looks. And then the wings are kind of like, oh, it looks like all of them have that line. I can see it on this one right here. Base layer it with blue, purple, or layer it with white. That's how I did mine. I gave it a glacial look of deep ice. Yeah, I might do the purple. So I should probably base it with like the purple or white to make it easier. I don't know if I have a white primer that actually is good. I have a gray. Glacial was what I went for. Greenish, bluish tint. I do have gray. That should work. I mean, it's already it's already gray, but if I want to prime it. Okay, we're going to try to prime it with gray. And then honestly, that might be, after we prime it, that might be where we end stream for today. Because I'm tired. Today was stressful. <laughs> it wasn't even stressful for me, necessarily. James didn't even, like, respond to, to the news of him getting laid off. He was just kind of like, well, guess that happened. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't think, I, I will always prime my minis. Shock. Yeah, I mean, I think we both knew, you know, oh, there's so much glue on this brush still. <laughs> I thought I got all the glue off, but it's, it is definitely still on there. Um, he knew that the company, his company was struggling for a really long time. Like, they haven't been making money for a long time. And so I think he knew that it was going to happen eventually. I don't think he knew it was going to happen today, though. All right. We're going to use this one. It's been a long time since I've looked at this primer. I don't know... Okay, it seems like it seems like it'll do okay for this. Maybe we'll try to get the primer on and then uh the the deepest purple layer on depending on how long this takes to me or for me to prime. Statistically laying people off on Fridays is far fewer. Yeah. I know that companies that I've worked for 
um, wouldn't lay people off on Fridays because of the uh, the weekend being very daunting um, after immediately getting laid off. Uh, and I won't I won't say the word, but the mental stress of basically not. I don't know. I don't know what it is like in the brain, but it's like if you go into a weekend and you're laid off, it's like statistically worse in terms of mental health stuff. I don't know if it's because people are like, I want to immediately start looking for new jobs or whatever, and it's harder to do that um, on the weekend. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Or just leave it primed. Voila! It's a white dragon! <laughs> yeah, they they told him that he should bring his laptop back next week. And he has a bunch of stuff there, so <laughs> we're gonna have to take him next week at some point. Because he doesn't drive, so trying to get him to get all of his technology and stuff home would be a little bit of an issue. Like, he has his own keyboard and, and mouse and stuff there. I don't think his backpack is big enough to hold that stuff, so we'll go and get it next week. I wanted to do it today, but they said to just bring in his stuff next week, so it didn't really make sense to go in twice. Anyway. This is a big dragon. Why'd you let me, why'd you talk me into this? Who talked me into this? Dr. Bob? Was it you? How could you? At least they didn't lock everyone out, so a company do Oh yeah, I think, like he's been working there for, I, five, six years maybe, or longer? I actually don't know exactly how long he's been working there. He worked there for a couple of years before I met him. And we've been, you know, together for over four years, so. Not over four years. Three years? I don't know. Either way, he's been at that company for a long time, so I don't think they... They don't not trust him. I bet you if his if he tried to go in with his badge now, though, that probably wouldn't work. It's so crazy though. The place that he works has been broken into so many times since like I've known him. Literally people have broken in and gone through and stolen like their computers just like at least three times. Which is crazy because you would think that they would hire like security guards or something. But they never did. It is so warm in this room right now. Hold on, I need to see what's going on. <laughs> days and days of streams! I bet you it's cool outside. I need to turn the fan on. Yeah, it's cooler outside than it is inside, so I need to open up the house soon. <laughs> Lurk, BRB, gonna get my stuff packed! Oh, how funny. See, that, that one worked. That command worked. Some of my other commands aren't working, though.
prime, prime, prime. Playing fetch with the kitten, aww. That's cute. Cats are fun. I know this is a very rough prime job. Very rough, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. Appa's trying to get out the door. Um, Dr. Bob, I will be at the meet and greet, so I'll be there on Wednesday. I think I, my flight lands at, like, two? I don't remember exactly. You can't leave. You have to stay here, Appa. He's trying to, he's trying to get out the door right now. He's scratching at it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, you big baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Lay down right there. Lay down. Come on. He's like, no, I'm not going to lay down where you ask. I didn't sign up for the bingo card this year. Um, I feel like I didn't really like participate in it a terribly, a terribly a lot. I could. I completely forgot about it, to be honest. Last year was the first year that I'd done it. <laughs> I forget how you even sign up to be on the bingo card. Is it reaching out to someone specifically? My middle cat loves playing fetch with anything at rattles. I had a cat that was like that. His name was Teddy. He had a specific toy, though, that he liked to fetch with. It was, like, a crinkly one. It was, like, one that had, like, um, that, like, crinkly plastic in it. That was his, that was his favorite toy. And it just disappeared one day. I had no idea where it went. It was just, like, gone. <laughs> That is my hair. Wee. It's on the Reaper forum. Search for bingo. The sign up is run by Pegasus. Okay, I will. I will do that after my stream. My kin just tapped your face on the screen. That's cute. <laughs> this is the fastest paint job ever. You've almost painted the whole thing. I know, right? I literally could just do this and then throw a wash on it. And be done. And say, Dr. Bob said it was fine. I'm like trying not to pick it up because I don't want to disturb any of the pieces that are still curing from the glue. Oh, 
I have been booped. It's true. Dr. Bob, I don't know if you saw my progress on the uh, monster plush. Were you here earlier when I showed it? No? Okay, hold on. Let me push this. So... I still need to figure out how exactly I want to do the hair. But this was the first... This was the first... Um, face body um, and then I was outlining where I wanted to do the hair because when I started to do the hair I was like I don't like it I need to just do this whole part white here and then just do hair over it and so uh, I did this one today with the white and now I need to just add the hair in obviously add the other details like the eyes and then the mouth and stuff um, and then the horns but I was playing around with trying to do like different styles of hair. And I remembered I had fur, fur yarn, which fur yarn is literally what it sounds like. It's yarn that's on a string and it's furry. And so I crocheted some of it onto this one. And this is what it looked like. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Obviously this is not it, but I thought it was hilarious. It's, I think uh, Clavicus or someone called it Monster's Grandma. <laughs> so, yeah. Sock Boy's Child. <laughs> yeah, so we'll get the... I'll, I'll um, work on it more this weekend and try to get the hair in a way that looks good and then the horns and stuff. I haven't figured out how I want to do the horns yet either. But, um, yeah, we're getting there. And then, you know, I also showed off the potion bottle that I was that I had made right like so this was the one of the potion bottles um and I got the vials in so here's the it's obviously larger so here's the other uh potion bottle and you can see here it opens right there and then you can untwist it and it will fit uh, a lot of dice. So this is a D4. I have one D4 here. Um, you can see it way down in there. It'll fit a, a lot of dice in it. It'll fit a full set of dice plus a couple more. Um, so it'll definitely fit like 10 D, D4. So yeah. So I got that done too. I figured out how to do that and the vials that I got were like the perfect size. You could also definitely fit. I think it. I think it's more like three shots, actually. Um, the vial. I probably shouldn't have tried to take it out, but the vial's pretty big, so you can fit a decent amount of liquid in there if you actually wanted to put liquid. I wouldn't suggest putting real liquid in this though, because um, I don't think it's gonna. Hey, stop looking. Um. I don't think it's it's uh, water waterproof. Depends on how big your shots are. Let me actually get one of the empty vials so you can actually see the size of it. So here's one of the vials. It says big. Let me get out some dice. Oh, he's making potion koozies on stream. So here's some dice. Um, where'd that D4 go? Here 
this. D4, D6. is a 12 this is a, a hundo here's a 20 what is this 10 and 8 so that's a that's a full set of die right there and obviously you can fit more you can fit a decent amount in there so, you know, you can fit a lot. You can fit a lot of, of uh, dice. I don't even think I have 10 D4. I probably do, actually. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm not going to go through them all. But, yeah. You like the tubes? Yeah. They're good tubes. I got them on Amazon. They're uh, 110 milliliter plastic tubes. I was looking for like very specific sizes of, of tubes and I couldn't find like exactly the sizes I wanted, but um, those ones I got, they, they work fine. This one has got the tubes. Got great tubes. Appa, you're not leaving the room, dude. My dog does not want to be in here with me. <laughs> But I have to keep my eyes on him because he is a brat. You're a brat, my son. I think we could probably pick the purple that we want to use as the deepest purple. It's a pretty mid-tone, mid-brightness, purple. He just huffed. <laughs> he just huffed so loud. It's like, God, I'm so irritated. He's going to be 10 this year. He's an old man. Cora is also going to be 10 this year. I have not painted the inside of this wing at all. Oh, so much primer. Painting the butt. Priming the butt. <laughs> the dragon gives you an excuse to use ice effects on the base. I definitely could do some like ice crystals. I have some like crystals like blue crystals that i could literally like attach as well <laughs> i wish i could show you he's got his face against the door because he wants out Oh, what a baby. 
You cannot leave. I'm almost done with my stream, though, okay? I'll let you out when I'm done. He's like, I know you hate the sound of licking, so I'm just going to lick the door. Such a brat. Stop licking! <sighs> I talked about that last time. How that sound drives me insane. Bunch of cats playing with one another. Oh yeah, that's right. I think you... Did you share these before? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. The big orange one is like, I'm gonna smack you. I'm gonna smack you. Help me, I'm in prisons against my will. Come to the tallest tower in Swamp Castle and save me. The door isn't gonna lick itself. I mean, you're not wrong. He's... <laughs> I guess the crushed... Silicate from dry packs makes good for... Oh! Oh, interesting. All right, let me get my purple that I want to use. Let me see. What purple shall we use? Oh, classic. I think this is the one we're going to use as our as our darkest amethyst. This is this is I I used to use this purple all the time for everything. For anything purple, I would use the amethyst purple. It's got a bunch of pink paint on it because it was in a bag that I had transported to and from ReaperCon and uh it ex uh, the pink exploded in my bag. I uh, I always put my paints when I'm traveling with them in, in a Ziploc though, so it was fine. It just got all over all of my other paints. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I know it's amethyst purple. <laughs> There's like four vids, yeah. I quickly scrolled through them. The one of the big orange cat smacking the little, the smaller one was the funniest. This paint is thick as well. Thick. I think he finally realized he's not escaping. <laughs> now he's just laying down with his head, like, my direction, and he's just staring at me. Staring at daggers at me. I actually kind of want more of a blue. This is more of a warm purple. I want a cooler purple. Hmm. Let's see what we got. Let's see what else we got. Oh. 
oh yeah, this is what I want. This is the color I want. This is it, ghoul violet. Ghoul violet versus amethyst. Yes, that's the color I want. Icy violet. This is probably a, just a little bit darker than that. Is icy violet darker or lighter than ghoul violet? I'm gonna assume it's it's lighter because this is pretty dark. It's an old favorite of mine, lighter. I don't know if I have that one. Let me look. Let me look. Wild Violet. Adslanti Violet. No, I don't think I have that one. I don't think I have that one. Woo! Yes, but this is exactly the purple I want, though. Amethyst purple, get out of here. You're fired. Not using you. Zero, nine, four, two, five. Let me see. Zero nine four two five. What the heck? Oh, my num locks. No wonder. Oh, it looks similar, at least on the screen. That's okay. It looks similar-ish, but this is what we're. Oh, yes. Yes. That is much better. I like it. Purple dragon. I almost just dipped my brush in black primer. That wouldn't have been fun. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to do right now. That black primer. Can't escape it. All right, Dr. Bob, what's this dragon called? It's gonna be a purple, purple icy dragon. You're the, you're the good name, naming person. What am I calling it? I need so much more paint. I choose violets. <laughs> Plumical. Plumical the Grapenator. <laughs> I think in the future I'm just gonna have you name my ReaperCon entries for me. Cause, yeah. Last year I was like, ChatGPT help me. 
I don't even remember what I named them. Of course I named the monster, the the Holly monster mini that I submitted. Of course I named it. I have no idea what I'm doing. I had to, you know. And she's the one that Reaper judged out of the ones that I submitted. So that one wasn't hard to name. But the other ones, I'm always just like, I don't freaking know. Like, the first year, I didn't even know that we had to name them. So I brought them, and then they were like, oh, what are their names? And I was like, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. That's a great question. It's like, as somebody who, one, is super terrible at remembering names, and two, is bad at making up names for things, you are asking the wrong person. Plum sickle. Plum sickle. I've done that for several of my friends. Someone painted a Warhammer Space Marine but left it on the sprue. I put it in a glass box and submitted it at my suggestion. Break glass in case of hearsay. <laughs> purple Ice, the sequel to Purple Rain. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. This is going to be the biggest dragon I've painted, if I actually finish it. I've painted like a dragon bust a long time ago, and I the very first miniature I ever painted was a, a really tiny green dragon. That I dry brushed with gold. <laughs> gold paint, because I didn't know. <laughs> and I just thought it would look cool. And actually, you know what? It actually looked pretty cool. Uh, so, I was okay with it. This is before I knew what I was doing at all, though. Violence doesn't pay. <laughs> oh man. Violence doesn't pay. That's that's a good one too. I'm going to use this whole freaking pot of paint. It's so hard to pick it up.
can already kind of see how it's gonna how it's gonna look, and that's exciting. Which begets the obvious ice ice baby. <laughs> So much meat. I did not prime the top of this thing's mouth. It's okay. I don't think anybody's going to be flipping this dragon over and being like, oh, you missed primer on the mouth. Can't believe you. Can't believe you would do that. All right. We are going to let this guy dry before I go in and put another coat of that paint just to make sure it's as dark as I can get it all over. Going to market type place tomorrow. Sit in the car while mother walks the place. I don't have the stamina to walk. And because they use crushed stone, can't use normal sure. Oh, like a um like a flea market type. We didn't use calm that. What do we use calm? Um swap meat. We call them swap meat. That's what we'd call them. Sounds like what you're talking about. Frigid air. <laughs> oh man, I got glue on all these brushes. That's okay. You just need to chill in water. Because I don't care about them. So they can just chill in water. Haha. -ha. All right. I think we are going to stop here for the night. We got our whole crab done. It's looking like the stuff dried for the most part. The, um, the gloss, the water stuff. Let's get this dragon out of the way. I can't even pick it up. Sir, get over there. Sit there. This is what our crab's looking like, though. Guess I need to zoom back out a little bit. Which, that looks pretty good. That looks like a good water effect. I don't think it's fully, fully dry. But it's, it's pretty much there. In most of the spots, yeah. There's just a few spots where it was really thick. Like right here. And like over there. You can still see the white. But, you know what? That's pretty good. I like it. Water usually isn't dry. I know I'm saying the water texture. The water texture is dry. <laughs> but this looks good. I like it. I like the, the effect that it gave. Cool. All right. Let's find someone at a raid. Thank you all for hanging out on this uh, interesting for me Friday. This is a very interesting day. I. That's it. I don't know. The texture of water isn't dry. <laughs> You know what I mean, Dr. Bob. Let's find someone to raid. Let's see. Is anybody streaming and painting right now? 
Ba, 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 ba. Who's this? 46 and 2. Uptime 5 seconds. Did he literally just start? He did. Ha ha ha. How funny. I have not talked to that person in a very long time. Uh, we'll raid 46 and 2. Let's do it. Thank you everyone again for hanging out. You're all amazing. You're great. I appreciate every single one of you that comes in and talks to me and chats and makes fun of me and whatever. You're all great. I hope you're all staying happy and healthy. I'll be back sometime this weekend, probably. Uh, either with painting or with crochet. I'm not sure yet. But until then, we'll see you later. Bye!